The BP oil spill crisis in the Gulf of Mexico has evoked a lot of emotion and quite a few lessons both for society and for business generally. Now to explore both of these issues and, and many more interrelated issues we've got two people who come from different perspectives. Um, there's David Grayson and David Denier. Now let's start off with you David Grayson. Um, you come at it from a responsibility perspective of how business fits into society. What have you been observing? Well, I think this BP crisis will finally banish the idea that how a company manages its environmental and social impacts is marginal and there's nothing really to do with business. Because I think what this case has very powerfully demonstrated is the costs of, of ignoring or not really managing very professionally your environmental and, and social impacts. I think for BP it's been complicated because, uh, rightly or wrongly, the world thought that they had committed themselves to higher standards with Beyond Petroleum and somehow then it doesn't seem as if they have really been able to live up to, to those higher standards of environmental and social performance. Now let's pick this up, David Denio. Uh, BP, uh, how it's managed the crises that it's experienced, how it got to where it is today. Now you've been looking at this, what can we learn from what you've seen? A lot of organisations that have major crises, major disasters, major events, the typical response is that there's an investigation from an outside body. It comes up with a set of recommendations which are the 40 or 50 things that that organisation needs to change and maybe that applies to other parts of the industry as well and typically those things aren't implemented across the board otherwise BP may never have had this event after its previous events with things like Texas City and indeed on the Deepwater Horizon itself. Um, rather than more policies, more procedures, more regulation, I think this is a real opportunity for BP to fundamentally rethink how it is, how it is designing itself, how it is operating for high reliability and to ensure safety and the avoidance of major accidents in the future. So David, are there lessons that business generally need to learn from this rather than just BP? Yes, definitely. Um, a lot of research has shown that the fundamental difference between organisations that fail to have serious untoward incidents, serious incidents, um, is to do with the organisational culture. It's not because they've got the best technologies, it's not that they're regulated in a certain way, it's, be it's because safety and reliability is fundamentally embedded into the organisational culture. They're able to anticipate these events, they're able to pick up on some of the weak signals in the system and they're able to make sense and therefore are able to act to prevent these issues from escalating. All of these issues start off as small, minor events that then cascade into to major issues. And what will unfold, I'm sure, with this investigation is the whole range of issues that have occurred that have led to this event. Um, only by fundamentally changing the organisational culture will those things be able to be picked up and dealt with appropriately. David Grayson, what do you think about the lessons we can learn? Well, I think this is, this is critically important because um, deep water drilling is not going to stop. Um, most of the, the new oil reserves that are being discovered around the world are in, in, in deep water conditions, which is real frontier technology. So it's very important that we don't just put all the blame on, on BP and imagine that it couldn't possibly happen to any of these other major oil companies because it's something which could have happened probably to, to any one of them given the, the wrong sets of circumstances developing. So in addition to making sure that we learn what happened, I think that what you need to have, and whether it's BP able to take the lead on this or whether something else has to do, you need to have an industry initiative like you had in, in the chemical industry after Bhopal with their responsible care initiative. You need to have the, the, the oil industry working out what is best practice standards, which they are going to commit to adhere to around the world, whether it's off Libya or whether it's uh, off uh, Indonesia or anywhere else in, in the world because otherwise there is a danger that these kind of things might happen again in a part of the world where there's not quite such um, easy access for the world's media to be able to see what's, what's, what's happening. So I think if we're really going to, to, to get the lessons from this, 
it's not just more regulation, it is also collective self-regulation mm. by the industry. Gentlemen, thank you very much. What we're going to do is to offer you the opportunity to contribute to this. If you go to the debate section on the Cranfield Knowledge Interchange, you'll have an opportunity to find out more of what we've said here and for you to contribute too. Thank you.